Ready for this one? Yep. Okay, good afternoon. Welcome back. Now today is Wednesday midweek. Today we thought we'd do something a little bit different. As I explained in Sunday's video, I haven't got the opportunity this week with work schedule in my day job to do a full five hour video on the build. And I'm waiting for some materials for the molding and stuff so I can get it all done. So I'm looking towards building up to a monstrous session at the weekend to try and get that into primer. Probably won't work. <laughs> Best laid plans of <laughs> no. mice and men, but we're gonna try. At least I'll have the material, so I'm waiting for that in a minute. So instead, what we thought we'd do is a prize draw. Not just any prize draw, though. Possibly, I think, the most useful, accurate, and constructive prize draw that we've ever done yet. We did a 500 pound crash helmet for our first video prize draw. That was great, it went down very well, but honestly, we all have crash helmets and there's masses of choice. That is not a practical thing other than for riding. We're trying to do this to tools for garage to help you to learn stuff and to make better jobs of fixing and maintaining your motorcycle. So we think that this prize draw for this item we have for you today is something that is probably more relevant than anything else we've done so far. Now you all know Weehar, we've been in touch with Weehar for some time now. They're the company that make the cool screwdrivers and various other things, the 26.1 multi-head screwdriver. Now we went to them and said, can you send us something that is a little bit more than just a screwdriver for your saddlebag, something very special that a decent quality mechanic will use, something that will upgrade not only the toolbox of the said mechanic, but also something that will upgrade the, the quality and skills of their jobs and the work that they do to make them better at it. And I think they come up trumps for us, they truly have. Now, as with all these things, we have to buy one of these and I definitely have invested some of our patrons' money is what we do. We're trying to keep this channel moving forward to show you how to do things in the proper way. Because right back at the beginning, we had a lot of criticism from people saying that we do things by hack method. And there's always a hack method, and they'll get you out of a lot of problems. But as more and more of you want to engage with doing things properly, we need to show you the proper tools to do the job. And one of the best examples of that recently was the Sealy Chain Riveter. We showed you how to use it, and absolutely loads of you went out and bought them. We understand reliably, don't we, Ben? We do. Some of the suppliers sold out of stock, so we know that that worked. We know that you are engaged with this kind of thing. These tools are not cheap. This item we have to give away in this prize draw is not a cheap item at all. But however, if you're saving four or five hundred pounds on a service, by not going to the main dealer and having it done because your warranty is out and you don't have 500 pounds to spare, you can spend the kind of money we're talking today on something like this and it will help you to make a far, far better job. So let's tell you what I'm talking about first and then we'll come to the prize draw itself. Welcome back. Okay, starting at the top, what I'm talking about is a screwdriver that has really low torque settings. We're all used to these. We know what a torque wrench is. A torque wrench is an, a piece of apparatus that will allow you to screw up an internal mechanism which allows a click to happen when you reach a certain tightness on a bolt, screw, nut or fastener. So it allows you to do things up to a known amount of tightness. And a torque wrench like that, it has a clumsy setting that starts at about 15 or so Newton meters. Now, you have a Harley Davidson you'll know this already. There are massive sheets and sheets of torque settings in your Harley Davidson service manual. If you've gone to the trouble of buying your 65, 70 pound, or what are they, hundred dollars now in the US, aren't they? The Harley Davidson service manual, you'll know that in there, there are pages of torque settings. And the major service on your Harley Davidson entails something called a critical fasteners check. What that means is you go round certain critical fasteners, nuts, bolts and screws on the bike and make sure that they're the correct torque and the correct tightness. And not, not to put too fine a point on it, but if you don't have the tools such as accurate torque wrench, then you can't carry that out, so you can't do the major service. If you choose to though, the major service will save you, it will cost you if you take it to the dealer, upwards of 500 pounds sterling to have a major service done. So if you're gonna invest a little bit, I wanna show you this tool today. Because it's not just about the big torque settings. You look at the big nuts and bolts, 20, 30 newton meters, 40 newton meters, 100 newton meters. Great, that's showing that you do them up tight enough. But it's the little screws, the little tiny screws and fasteners, things on the switch block, the reservoir cap covers, all these little screws, they still have a torque setting. So being able to do up the small torque settings, those little one and two and three newton meters, that's really hard. So here's a tool for that. I'll show you what it is. This is from Weehar. It's called the Torque Vario S. So this particular little tool, 
as you can see, it's absolutely lovely, isn't it? Look mm. at that. Yeah. The last time I saw packaging, this is a steel box. Where's my torch? Look. That is a steel case. And the last time I saw a steel case with a foam lining like that, it's kind of like photography and camera equipment, that sort of thing, isn't it? Mm. It is a very precious and precision instrument, this. And not cheap either, is it? No. But it's so worth your investment. I want to show you what it is. First of all, you get a handle. The handle itself is where all the business happens. Inside here, there's a mechanism that clicks, just like the click inside your regular torque wrench. No different whatsoever. It just clicks on far lower settings. Inside here, this will give you accurate torque settings from less than one newton meter up to five newton meters, which is why it's a screwdriver, because you don't need any more than wrist tight. This goes back to what we said about wrist tight. So you show how it works, you've got the actuator there which fits inside and then you take your bits here like all these things you get different heads you get torx heads which we're going to use now you get allen heads for allen screws and also screwdriver heads just regular ordinary crosshead screws a screwdriver a screw whatever it might be still has a torx set in if you go to any manual you'll find that say for instance as i just mentioned the filler cap on your reservoir, your brake reservoir, they're normally just crosshead screws. They still have a torque setting. So if you really want to be accurate and you want to do that accurately and correctly, this is the kind of thing that you should be investing in with some of the money you save, not going to the dealer. <laughs> Simple as that. Think about it, it will still save you money. So show how it works. So set it first of all to its correct torque setting. On your regular torque wrench, you screw the screw in until the spring inside is tight enough to click at the given torque setting. But on this, you take that out and you get given this actuator tool. It's got a little multi-head, like a 12-sided head on the end. You pop that inside and then here, can you see closely, Ben? Can you come in on that? Yeah, that's it. There we are. So this, as you can see, will register from 0.8 newton meters up to five newton meters. There we are, one. Then it's this accurate, 1.2, 1.4, and it keeps going all the way to five newton meters. So I'm gonna set it to four newton meters. There it is, right, four. So I've now set the handle to four newton meters. Pop that back in. You then get this part. So this is your little head. In the top there you get a hex holder, which holds the bits. I'll just show you that. The bits go into there. Pull that back. That slots inside. So that's then ready to do the job. And this then slots inside the handle all the way in till it clicks. That's it. But that now is effectively a torque wrench set to four newton meters. A really, really low setting you normally can't do. And I'll show you the best use for that. Show you on the Harley. Okay, I'm going to use the switch block on my Harley to demonstrate for this. First of all, obviously undo it, because I want to show you how to do it up and use the torque range setting. So to undo it, I'm just going to use straightforward Allen key or Torx head key. This is the set of these Torx head keys. It's like an Allen key, but it has Torx heads on. So just use a proper solid tool to undo it. You should never take a torque wrench and force it back against itself. You shouldn't undo anything with a torque wrench. Just use a regular tool to undo it. This is a precision instrument to set a final torque, that's all. So even then, you take the regular one, come in on the screw, nip it up to a certain point, there we are, then we can get the torque wrench involved. So as you can see there, we set it to four Newton meters. So that's the actual setting for this. It's between four and five. Harley are great. They always give you two settings kind of between somewhere. So they show, they demonstrate clearly there that actually torque settings themselves are not that critical. They can be within a window. So between four and five, I've set it to four. I'm just going to wind that in. And you'll see what happens. You wind it in. You just use the screwdriver as normal. Turn it until it clicks. There we are. As soon as you reach the road and torque, click. That's it. And that sets between just more or less 0 0.8 and 5. So any setting for any screw on your switch gear, any of the smaller pieces, little accessories you screw on, you've got an accurate way to do them up. Right, let's wind it off. Okay, so always use a solid tool to undo things. And with your Harley, you'll find that there are various settings 
advised in your critical fastness check where they actually do advise that you undo them, then retalk them up. Don't just check them because they may have ceased. So that's important too. So there we are, like any torque wrench, when you're finished with it, you must wind the pressure off the mechanism. So that, as you can see there, you know that pen? That literally, take the head out, that literally just pulls out. That's smart, isn't it? Look at that. And then we're left with the, the handle itself with the mechanism inside, and it's very important to unwind that mechanism afterwards. So we're there at four, we just come down through all the settings, all the way back down, and it does arrive at zero. I'll show you. Where are we? Let's get back down there. There we are. So there we are. There's two little arrows. Normally when you see it, there's the first one. There's the first setting, which is just point 0.8. So come beyond that, even lower, down to where the two arrows are, and that's set at zero. But obviously, those of you who've reminded me of this in the past, it's very important. When you wind the pressure off a torque wrench, don't wind it off completely so it absolutely is just flopping around because that's not healthy either. The spring inside or the mechanism inside any torque wrench must be under the very, very lightest of pressure. Just take up the slack and leave it at that. And that then you're looking after it in a way that it will last you a lifetime. Simple as that. There we go, pop that back in there. And that's it, simple. Then you can just pop it back up, stick it in your toolbox, job done. You've made a great job then of doing up the screws and fasteners on your bike to the correct setting. It's a peace of mind, isn't it? Don't you think, Ben? It is, yes. And make sure that when you do a job, you have a confidence in that job later on. And anybody else in the future working on your bike, everything works. Nothing's broken, stripped, stuck, or seized up. And that's the right way to do it. Okay, so how do you win this one? Because that's what's happened. We bought this one, which is very cool. And that's my one. My baby, I love that in my toolbox. But this one is for one of you lucky winners. We're going to ask you a question like we do with all of our prize draws. If you answer the question correctly, we'll draw the name out of the hat next week. Nothing to put, completely free, and we'll send you that in the post. And they're not cheap, are they, Ben? No, they're not. not they're 150 pounds or a little bit more. I think they come out 180 something. I think 180 euros they cost because these yeah. are from Germany. So they are a very expensive tool in terms of what you might pay for a set of cheap screwdrivers but really and honestly it's a precision instrument and if any of you look at what the cost of your iPhone is or even the cost of what you might spend on a computer game honestly that to me is money well invested it truly is because it's the ability to do a job accurately and correctly and that's what you should be spending the money on that you save in watching our videos <laughs> Too right. Shall we pose them a question then? Yes. Okay, let's do that. So to get your hands on this rather amazing piece of kit and be the winner, you need to answer the winning question, don't you? You do. It's as simple as this. What year did our Penny Pitstop pass her motorcycle test? Ain't hard, is it? Well, depends. If you're an avid viewer of the channel, then you'll know the answer already. So just poke it in the answer as usual. If you're not, then you can look it up. It's in many videos here and there, Q&As, all sorts of things. You can go and do some research or you can just take a guess. It's as simple as that. Either way, it doesn't matter as long as you have the correct answer. We don't mind how you achieve it. So put your answers to the following question. What year did Penny Pitstop pass her motorcycle test? Answers to this email. What do they need to do, Ben? Put the answer in the title of the email so that I can administrate it quicker. And in the body of the email, please put your name and where you're from. There you are. Ain't hard, is it? Simple as that. Follow her instructions and you could be the winner. Now we have to cut this off on April the 1st, don't we? And that's no joke. That's no joke. That's right. It is April the 1st, Saturday coming. This is Wednesday now, Saturday. Just a short one, this one. You've only got a small chance to get in on this, but it is definitely well worth your consideration. So get the answer in by Saturday midnight and we will close the batting at that point. Then can cut them all up, get them in the big gold box so we can draw your name out and make you the winner. And we'll do that on Sunday. Yes, indeed. Sunday, this Sunday's video coming will be the draw for this one. And we think somebody is going to be very, very happy, don't we? I think so. I think so. Excellent. There we are. Anything else, Ben? Good luck. Good luck to all of you. Thank you for your support and thank you for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Summer's coming somewhere in the world. <laughs> right, safe. See you next time. Good luck.